Hi there, you are watching a video of pressure vessels in industrial plants. Process vessels frequently have different types of internals that must be supported by the vessel shell. Filters, fractionators, packed columns and reactors with catalyst beds are just a few examples of vessels that have internals. Bubble cap trays or plates are one of the types of physical devices which are used to provide good contact between the upflowing vapor and the downflowing liquid inside an industrial fractionating column. Design of supports for the mentioned trays should be carried out according to the following. First, design loads. Trays, pans, draw-off boxes or similar internals should be designed using a corroded thickness to support their own weight plus leave loads. And second, maintenance loads. Tray supports members, all beams, support clips, etc., shall be designed for a concentrated load of 135 kg at any point of the installed assembly. The design shall be based on the corroded thickness. Even when each vessel requires a custom design, the standard shown on the screen provides a good starting point for tray supports or fractionating columns. Recommended width and thicknesses of supports are indicated depending on the diameter of the vessel. Vessels internals are typically supported by a combination of beams, grids and a support ring welded to the vessel shell. The support ring supports the periphery of the grating or tray plates. The support ring can be welded to the vessel wall by filled welds or with full penetration welds for larger loaded members. In some cases, they are integrally forged into the vessel wall. Beams are typically supported by one of the three methods – beam seats, clips and support rings. Beams should never be welded directly to the vessel wall because of the restraint they would impose on vessel growth. All of the methods listed above will allow for the radial expansion of the vessel due to the temperature and pressure. Slotted holes in the clip or for the bolting attaching the beam to a beam set allow for expansion. Uniform liquid distribution is essential for efficient operation of chemical processing equipment. To obtain optimum distribution, proper consideration must be given to the flow behavior in the distributor itself flow conditions, upstream and downstream of the equipment. The distributor consists of one or more pipes, with or without branches, containing a series of holes, slots or spray nozzles. In these cases, when two internal tubes, distributors, baffles, etc., should be connected, flanges can be made out of plates. Since flanges installed inside the pressure vessel are not under pressure, ASME B16.5 standard flanges are not used. The material selection should be equivalent to the rest of the internal elements And to determine the dimensions of these parts, standards are normally used, like the one shown on the screen.
A vortex breaker is a device used in pressure vessels, as well as any other types of equipment, to stop the formation of vortex when a fluid, liquid or gas is drained from a vessel such as a tank or a vapor liquid separator. The formation of vortices can entrain vapor into the liquid stream, leading to poor separation in the process steps such as distillation or excessive pressure drop, or causing cavitation of pumps. Demister pads or mist eliminators are important internals in process vessels. Anytime there is a continuous two-phase flow, vapor and liquid, there is a possibility for liquid entrainment. If it is desirable to separate the liquid and vapor or prevent liquid carryover in the vapor stream, the velocity must be kept sufficiently low to allow the liquid droplets to fall out of the vapor stream. The Mr. Pods are effective entrainment separators which allow operation at vapor velocities that would otherwise be excessive. The impeachment plate is a device that is installed in the shell inlet nozzle, perpendicular to the direction of the flow. The aim of this plate is to prevent the fluid stream impact directly on the shell damaging the shell thickness due to erosive effects. Impingement plates can adopt different configurations, flat plates, perforated, curved plates, wear boxes, etc. The selection of method will depend on the speed of the fluid, corrosiveness and the desired fluid distribution. Baffles are frequently used in pressure vessels, either vertical or horizontal, to divide the interior volume in different compartments. These compartments may be used to segregate liquids or to provide overflow weirs for the separation of liquids. Baffles may be stiffened or unstiffened. When welded across the entire cross-section of the vessel, they must be checked that they are not unduly restricting the diameter expansion of the vessel. Even when internal devices are not under pressure, they should be designed following minimum thickness requirements. For carbon steel welded internal supports, the following minimum requirements shall be applied. When corrosion allowance for the vessel is indicated as 3 mm, 9 mm minimum thickness shall be used for internals. And when corrosion allowance requirement is 6 mm for the vessel, 15 mm minimum thickness shall be used for internals. Now, for carbon steel removable internals, the following minimum requirements shall be applied. When corrosion allowance indicated for the vessel is 3 mm, 6 mm minimum thickness shall be used for internals, and when corrosion allowance requirement is indicated as 6 mm for the vessel, 9 mm minimum thickness shall be used for internals.